uh, we're here, Garden of Ban Ban 2, Halloween season, special things, we're gonna be playing all of Garden of Ban Ban. People be, uh, talking trash on these games, but we're gonna see what the hype is, or what the hype is not. For a parent looking for the missing child, time is a delicate matter. That's on. What's changing? We're supposed to be paying attention to... The chairs are slowly disappearing here. I don't know if this continues from the last game or not. Oh! It's, uh, this dude. He's dead. There's blood. So, I thought he killed us, but he killed himself. Okay. I'm gonna jump on your head. You best be dead. I'm gonna whack you. I can't whack you. I have no choice. I'm trapped. Okay. This is a, uh... Big little place here. Alright, what is this? The things we've done have finally come back to bite us. Everyone's gone and the whispers from the abyss just keep getting louder. I think I even saw a face of or two looking up at me. We were told everything that gets thrown into the abyss dies, but it appears we were tricked. If you're reading this, take my advice and leave. Everything here should be forgotten or erased. Okay. Pink key card. What does that do? That extends that. Okay. Okay, okay, those are those lights. It's like... On, but, oh, here we go. I didn't do anything. I'm assuming... We're gonna hit this... And end up going to the room that's lit up. Okay. The spider is real. There's an elevator to success, but stairs are good exercise. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Why is he still there? Get away from me. What did that even do? Alright, I'm leaving. I don't like that. I'm watching you. Shut. Okay. Whoa! Hey, hey you there. there. I, I, I can, can see you on the cameras. cameras. I am, I am so, so happy, happy to see you. you. And, and I, I need, need your help, help with something. something. Wait, Wait, can you, can you even you hear, hear me? me? Hello? Hello? Listen, Listen, if you can hear what, what I'm, I'm saying, saying, wave at any camera. Okay, camera. That's not a camera. Uh, that's a camera. Who is this that we're talking to? Oh, thank God. I'm so glad you're here. I thought this was the end. I was looking around and walked into the security room. Then the door closed behind me and I've been stuck inside since. It needs a light blue key card to open, but I don't have it. I know why you're here and I can help you, but you've got to get me out of here. If I recall correctly, uh, only maintenance workers held the light blue key card. So you're gonna have to go down to the maintenance room and look there. The door there is probably locked as well, and I can't open it from here, but I do have control over the break room door. Here, I open it for you. See if you can find anything useful in there. Crazy that they, uh... They had a dialogue. Okay, what's in here? Oh, a new antenna. Nice. An old friend is waiting in the lobby. I don't like that. Oh! It's my droid. Nice. What is what is this? Right mouse. 
Okay, we got our robot back. I'm happy. Alright, so it looks like we got some new characters up here. I haven't seen Slow Celine, the Spider-Man. Mr. Toadster, I remember Stinger Flynn, and Captain Fiddles. Interesting. No, we can't open that, okay. Oh, the good old drones. I lost mine a couple weeks ago. Maintenance workers used them for all sorts of things, like reaching high places and, and grabbing things that fell into the abyss and sometimes even comfort. It's good that you have one. It might be useful in our little conundrum. Take a look around and see if you can figure out how to get into the maintenance room. I'm unsure if it can be of much help, but uh, wave at the cameras if you need my insight. Okay... Alright. Well, there's a button to hit over that way. What did that do? I don't even know. What is this? You can change the color of a dro droid. Black. Cowboy hat. Match remote. Whoa. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. Okay, I'm gonna need fucking help here. I don't know what I'm doing. My memory is a little fuzzy, but I do remember something about management allowing workers with good scores to punch in later than those with worse scores. The better your performance, the later you're allowed to punch in. This was to encourage workers with lower scores to come earlier and perform better. Naturally, this meant that the person with the lowest score would be punching in first. To make sure that this was always the case, a, a system was set up to only allow the workers to punch in in the perfect order that assumes that nobody is going to be late. Yeah, this system wasn't very well liked. Okay, so I think it has to do with these tables, because you see they each have different punching things, and it's Lois has to punch in first. So June, he's in kind of like the whitish red. Which means he'd be this one. He's three, six, the lightest blue table. Which would be this one, right? Did I have to restart that? Is it this one? Wait, one of these is like, I thought it was light blue, no? Ah, okay, dark red has to go second, okay. Dark red. Then the light blue. Six, seven, which is gonna be this one. Seven, nine is gonna be the darkest blue. Ten would be the second blue. Ten, so we hit all the blue. Twelve is gonna be the third red. And then twenty-two, right? What did that do? Oh, that opens this, okay. Then that gives us the key card to go in here. It's okay, NavNav says it's okay to have no friends and be miserable like me. Sheriff Toadster says treat others how you would like to be treated with respect. Sylvester Sun says I may be slow, but I am quick to help anyone in need. Nice. Am 
I don't like this room. One bit whatsoever. Okay, I guess we're just going through and this is like, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's such a big little room here. All right, what is this? K6, human Javanian. Case type two, update three, Elias the devil. K6 was introduced to its human genome donor, a doctor in the facility known as UA for short today. And the results were not what was hoped for. K6 first treated UA like they did any stranger with a civil greeting and a handshake. K6 up to this point has been referred to himself as UA. When the real UA finished explaining to K6 that they were the original genome donor, they attempted to explain some of the science behind Javanian procedures. Mid-sentence, K6 became extremely agitated and attempted to attack UA before being subdued by security. You are getting treated for minor injuries. K6 is in solitary confinement. Since the revelation, K6 has refused to communicate with any and all employees, with the exception of Dr. WM, whom he had personally requested to speak with. The request has not been granted, and WM safety case is not presented for testing. Okay. Okay, so pink is reverse, blue is correct. Okay. What are we doing here? There's no door to open there. Okay, we got a puzzle. We're gonna hit this button, right? Then we're gonna hit this button. Sorry, I gotta make some space for it. There we go. I should be able to break the glass there, right? Okay, what if we push it there? And we go there. Break it. Mmm. Easy. What did that do? Hmm. I don't know. There was a door underneath, so maybe it opened the door underneath. I don't know. Light blue key card, huh? Uh oh! Hey, buddy! All right, remember, uh, pink is opposite. Let's run. Blue is correct. Pink is a lie. Pink is a big lie. I'm out of here. Is he gone? I'm gonna shut that. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna leave. I don't want to be here. All right, we got a blue, uh, blue key card. So how the fuck do I get in that room, huh? What's this? K6, human Javanian, case type 2, update to Elias the Devil. Communication with K6 has provided invaluable information that may explain why previous cases have sorely failed as well as improved the creation of future cases despite being seemingly incredibly intelligent. It does not appear to recognize itself as a non-human. When addressed as a non-human, K6 reacts with confusion. Reflections also have no effect 
as K6 appears to see itself as the human genome donor, and mating between K6 and the human genome donor has not yet been conducted. K6 describes a constant immense pain that is present in the entirety of its body, despite the human genome donor of K6 being a doctor. The case has failed to give a description more detailed than the pain having to do with blood flow. K6 has no blood in their system, only Javanium. Case is not properly represented. All right. There's nothing in here. If you read this fast enough, you might escape. I don't even know what just happened. We'll find out. Three birds with one stone. I get all of your key cards. I get the perfect specimen. And I don't have to deal with that thing down there. And it's all thanks to you. Oh, come on. I didn't eat you that hard. Or maybe I, I did. Either way, it's best you take a nap while I prepare for our little surgery. So is Bam Bam like a good guy or an evil guy? I I genuinely don't know. It's hard to hard to read the man. Ah I love this. This looks fun. We're in some sort of hospital sector. And there's nowhere I can really go except hit that button, right? Okay, we're gonna have to put him there because this, this robot can be a little stupid sometimes. Go hit it! Okay, so somehow we have to hit... Alright, let's go here. Okay. Nope, you're stupid. We have to... I think we're just following the X's, right? Why, why else would there be X's if that's not what they wanted us to do? And then if we hit this X, he should break through. easy puzzle okay what is this blue stuff is this the Javanium Oh. Now we can hit this, right? What does that open? Oh, it's an elevator. Look at that. How convenient. I don't know where we're going now. Okay, that's pretty colorful out here. A crazy little kindergarten class, huh? What is this? Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Do not cross. Oh. My bad. I did not read that. Is that that fucking big dude that we killed? He should be dead. Okay. There's like dead bodies in this. Baby, baby, baby. Oh my god, there's so many dead little dudes. We need a pink key card. Okay, so that gets cut off. He's got a big ass fucking arm. I ain't even know what that is. What is this? Okay. So, distract before extraction. Maybe that could be what the big dude is. The machine needs certain liquids. So am I supposed to collect from all these dead bodies? I guess. We'll go through one by one and collect, collect our dues. I feel like it has something to do with the cannon. See, cause he's got a little eye. How can I? I can't interact with the cannon. I mean, I guess I could hit his eye, unless there's there's no glass there. Okay. Hit him, bro. Hit him. I'm running. Don't fuck with me. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Is that everything? I feel like that was only seven. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Okay, that opens this. Which gives us what a what a firecracker. Which maybe. I don't know why it wouldn't be a cannonball, but We'll let it cook. Am I allowed to? What is that? Is that like a, a cap I can put on this little drone? Does he got his cowboy hat? Yeah, he do got his cowboy hat. I just... Well, that wasn't too bad of a puzzle. Not at all. Huh. Okay, that gives us a pink key card. This one has definitely been better than the first one so far. I like that there's a dialogue and uh, the puzzles are a lot more cool. Oh, we're back out here. Nice. Hello? What are you and why are you moving? Are you friendly? I don't know. So we came from that kindergarten section, so I'm assuming... Dude, I do not like that. Are we gonna... Is that gonna... Get us later? I'm running. Uh-uh, I ain't fucking with that. I don't think we've been in here. Okay. There's buttons. Let's get you, uh, over here. What is this? Case 10. Ficopertis rosis Javinium. 
case type 2 update 2. Elias the bird, after the recent genetic modifications that are applied to case 10, significant behavior changes have been observed. Aggression towards certain demographics has been completely replaced with protective and motherly behavior. Said demographics include individuals of small stature, high-pitched voices, and those childlike attributes. Individuals that do not fall into said demographics will still be met with extreme aggression and can turn lethal due to the case's large size and possession of the very sharp beak. I'm thinking this is Ophelia Bird, the crazy bird from the first one. Oddly said demographics are almost exclusively human with the exception of Case 10A, Case 10B, Case 10C, Case 10D, Case 10E, and Case 10F. Organic organisms, birds included both adult and young, are met with the same level of aggression as humans who do not possess children-related attributes. Case is not fair for pretension. So... Are we? Are we a human or what? I'm just trying to figure that out. Are we a kid? Are we a human? We seem pretty small, but then again, we could be uh, something else too, you know? It doesn't have to be human. What does that do? That should probably turn on this switch, huh? Just inactivates what? See, why would there be a switch on this? Fuck that, bro. I don't like this. Mm, I don't have orange. But it wants me to eventually get orange. Eyes together stop. Eyes apart is go. Let's just get it to go like here. Hit it? Are you gonna hit it right? Oh fuck that! Oh fuck that! Fuck that! Oh fuck! Oh shit! I'm running, lady. Who are you? No. good hello who are you are you friendly everyone I want you all to welcome our newest student you're late to class I'll let it slide this time since it's your first day but be late again and I'll repeat the pieces you're a new and unpopular student so you will have to sit with the unpopular table in the middle now sit so we can begin Okay, class, so the first lesson of the day is math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn how to annihilate others, how to safely extract the human brain for eating, and... Oh, wait, I made a mistake. I think that's lesson four of the day. <laughs> for math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn to add, subtract, divide, multiply, and so much more. I am so excited. Before we start, let's revise some of the basics. What is six eight seven four one two three six one two plus nine eight one nine three nine nine one two? And remember, wrong answers will be very harshly punished. <laughs> uh, very smart. That's a hard math problem. Seven eight five six zero six three five two four. Correct. You kids are really paying attention today. Next question, and one that I wrote myself. What is 2 plus 2? The semi-smart kid, right? Correct! Wow, I thought everyone would get it wrong. Alright, last question before your lunch break. What is misery plus disappointment? 
I'm gonna go dramatic. My life. Correct! Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for math for the day. Go to your lunch break, and then we'll start the next lesson when you come back. Okay, back. oh my god. That was loud. Okay, we're the cool kids. We chew gums to get us for money. Please save our friend. He's getting bullied over there. You want this twerp? Give us lunch money. Okay. So we're collecting... Gum? To get money? To get... Him back. And what does that do for me? It gives me glasses. Am I am I a cool kid now? We'll see. Attention everyone. This announcement concludes your lunch break. Please return to your classes. Also, teachers, please keep in mind that we're on the lookout for a very, very naughty student. Believed to be accompanied by a drone. If you catch them, call Principal Ban Ban's office immediately. All right, we're gonna keep our drone. Where is our drone? I don't know. Hey, you didn't see the person they're talking about, did you? Oh, what am I saying? You're one of the cool kids. Of course you don't talk to ugly, unpopular kids like them. Take a seat with the cool kids where you belong. Okay, kids, the next lesson is science. Like we did for math, and since this is the first science lesson of the semester, it will only be a review lesson. But first, let me introduce you to our classroom rules. No eating, no talking, no breathing, no moving, no asking questions, and no washroom breaks. Remember, I will have to punish you very, very harshly if you break any of those rules. Back to the review. Let's start with something easy. How hot is the sun? Mm, I don't know. This? Finger flip. Wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know why I picked sea life. I should not pick sea life. Oh, it is what it is. It's got to be funny or popular, right? We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Take a seat with the cool kids where you belong. Okay. Okay, kids. The next lesson is science. Like we did for math, and since this is the first science lesson of the semester, it will only be a review lesson. But first, let me introduce you to our classroom rules. No eating, no talking, no breathing, no moving, no asking questions, and no washroom breaks. Remember, I will have to punish you very, very harshly if you break any of those rules. The way she runs is, is so dirty. Let's start with something easy. How hot is the sun? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go popular. Nothing's as hot as me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it, but only because it made me laugh and because you're a cool kid. I can tell by your very cool glasses. Next question. How many hearts does an octopus have? Sea life, for sure. Finger flip. Correct. Hmm. That's half right. Since Stinger Flint is close to an octopus, he's a jellyfish. But I'll allow it, since you're a cool kid. Normal octopuses have three hearts. We humans have one, and Stinger Flynn has, um, I'm not sure actually, but let's move on. Next question. You are definitely we not human. five senses. Sight, smell, taste, touch, and... Uh, loud kid, I guess. Oh! Correct! Oh, you just made me use my fifth sense. <laughs> Close enough, I'll allow it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for science for today. Go on to your second break, and then we'll start the next lesson when it's over. All right, I know the light switch flick is coming this time. It's gonna scare me, yeah. 
You wanna join us, punk? Give us some lunch money, okay. Are we just collecting money? That's literally it. That's easy enough. That's all the money, I think. Did we get a bowling pin or what? How do we become a brown bowling pin? Look at that. Attention everyone. This announcement concludes your second break. Please return to your classes. Okay. Oh, wow. Three new kids in one day? One unpopular kid? Yuck. One cool kid and one mean kid. Welcome! Sit on the table to your left where you belong so we can begin. Okay, kids. The next lesson is health and kindness. Just like we did for math and science, it will only be a review lesson. Let's start with some common knowledge to freshen your stupid brains. Can anyone here give me an example of an unkind person? How about the unkind money taker? I will beat you to death. There we go. Correct. That works. That is a perfect example. <laughs> Good job. Oh, Assuming it wasn't funny. directed at me, of course. Now, this time, can anyone give me an example of a kind person? Uh, pain giver, because uh, giving is a kind act. I will give you immense pain. Correct! Exactly! Giving others things without expecting anything in return is exactly what kindness is. This class is going to be great! I can feel it! Wait, what was that? That is a damn good I question. I wonder if it's a new student. Nobody move while I check it out. What the fuck am I doing here? Go! Oh, I'm running. No! Not again! Oh no, is she coming I after me? Tried to be a good teacher this time. Go, please. Why is it taking so long to open? Okay. Hey, birdies. What's up? What is this? I feel like I shouldn't open that, huh? Fuck, I can't see nothing. Am I supposed to be collecting y'all fuckers? Am I putting y'all in the tub? Where where did that chick go? Okay, why is there like one green one? That's just weird to me. Nah, I don't want to open Dad, the big bird's fucking in there. Oh my god. I suck. Can't catch birds for shit. Uh, uh, uh. Motherfucker. You must be getting over here. Motherfucker. I caught another one. What are we what are we catching these birds for? What is What is the point of this activity? I still got what there's four more in there, maybe five, I don't know. I don't get the green bird last. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. Don't you try to escape me. Why are you, what are you doing up there, buddy? Oh my lord. Okay. Birdie, birdie, birdie. 
I like these birds. These birds are cute. They're doing a, a little dance pose, huh? God, there's too many. No. No. No, no. Dude, I keep clicking, misclicking. Alright, I'm taking the green bird. I don't care. I was going to do the green bird last. I don't know if the color has... Any uh, significance? Maybe it's a boy, right? There's a boy bird and a girl bird, huh? You will not escape me. Oh my god, you did. You did, in fact, escape me. Okay. Bet y'all can hear my mouse fucking clacking and clickling and clackling. So that bird doesn't. Okay, this should be one more, right? And then we can let the big bird out, I think. Why are you so far, buddy? You're my last bird. Okay. That's, that's all the birds, right? There's only six, I think. Hey, buddy. Go. On with your day. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm not supposed to move. I fucked that one up. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hello? Okay. We're good. I don't like it. Like it. Where are you hiding? Okay. What is this little room? A little puzzle room, huh? Hmm, let's let's just explore first. This is interesting. Stinger Flynn likes you to collect seashells in his chest. Find eight for your prize. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Is there any more? Okay, I'm gonna check up here. There we go. I knew it. I was like, they're not just gonna. Alright, we got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
Eight. And that gives me the light green to activate this next puzzle. Which I don't know exactly what this puzzle is, but we're gonna... Something with fireworks, huh? this is all about. It's gonna be the other one. Really. Did we, did we succeed? Okay, and I guess we're going again. Is it all these buttons now? Keeps doing that same one. Weird. Boom. Gonna go down, huh? Ugh. Okay. We're just gonna stay up here. No. still going. That should be it, right? What does that do for us? Slap stings, okay. Something down here. I guess we're going back because we got a blue key card, right? I believe so. I don't think there's anything else for us in this room. What is this? takes us back, huh? Hmm. Am I going back this way? We're not going back this way. I don't know where. Big, Big Josh, I think that's his name is. I don't know where he is! He's gone. That's probably what all this blue freaking slime is. 
All right, we're gonna go back this way. This game is definitely longer than the first one, which I appreciate, because I did spend money on getting the rest of these games, so. I can appreciate that. Yep, this is where we're going. Okay. Oh no. Is there what we really doing parkour here? Dear Mommy, I am okay. Claire is okay. The nice jellyfish saved us from the big bird and the evil red man. We are going to the jellyfish's home. Okay. Guys. I genuinely do suck at parkour. So if I fail this, you know why. Getting smaller. We can make that. We got a tape. Nope, I just fell. I actually dig that jump so hard. I totally could have made that jump. Ugh. We're speed running it. No stopping, right? Okay, we're not speed running it. We're we're taking our time this time. Well, we can speed run this first part, but once the the platforms actually become smaller, it's gonna be important that we take our time like this. I ain't trusting it. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We know we can make that. We uh, binked it last time. I was not expecting parkour in this game. Okay, there we go. Here we go. I don't even know if this is gonna need two parts or what. So we're just playing. Okay. 
Case 10, Suthero Camellius Javinian, Case Type 2, Update for the Bird. It remains unknown why Case 10 is grafted towards all dogs. Conditioning also remains as ineffective as it was in the first report. What has been discovered, however, is the reasoning behind the seemingly random instances where Case 10's eyes became bloodshot. Bloodshot eyes have also been linked to unusually high levels of aggressiveness. This behavior has been concluded to be the direct result of Case 10 witnessing or hearing and suffering of Cases 10A, 10B, 10C, 10D, 10E, and 10F, despite having an abnormal color scheme and any of the all digital specific childlike attributes. Examples of all childlike attributes have been described in the season. Second update report. Case is ready for presentation. What is this? I don't like this. There's a birthday cake. Oh God. I guess there's no turning around, right? What the fuck is this? Oh no! Ben, Ben! You know, on a normal day, you'd be standing where I am, behind the safety of this class. Like you're in a zoo watching some animals. Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time, where all the doors open, so we must keep this brief. Look, uh, I'm sorry I hit you, but you gotta understand. I needed something from you that I could only get if you were unconscious, and I was all out of sedative. If you'd seen me, you wouldn't have trusted me, I, I know it. But there was one thing I didn't like you about. And that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. I too am I'm working towards saving them, if you can believe it. But someone else has them. Someone far stronger than you and me both, that resides deep in the abyss. Oh no, you've gotta go. There's an elevator in Opilla Bird's walkway. Okay. Take it and, and we'll talk again down there. What is happening? You've oh, been a bad fucking student. shit. Oh, I'm running. This is as fast as I can fucking go. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Go, go, let me through, let me through. that every door is open. What if we went to Bam Bam's? Bam Bam's a safe man, right? Okay, I'm just You've gonna been get a bad student. I'm running as fast as I fucking can. Why would a field bird do that? Why would a field bird do me like that? 
All right, we're good. We got. We know what we're doing. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what we're doing. I'm ready. Sprint Master Pro. You've been a bad student. You've been a bad student. See, I thought we killed Big Josh. supposed to hit that. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, I fucked it up. Why is this hard? God, I hate chases, dude. It reminds me of Outlast, dude, but Outlast is ten times more fucking intense than this, man. Ten times more intense. I'm gonna eventually play Outlast on here again, redo it, because I, I played it. It's one of my, it's actually my first game I ever played on this channel. I was fucking, like, probably 14. So my voice was all, all squeaky. You've been a bad student. I don't know. I feel like I've been a good student. I answered all the questions correct. Eventually. This is what I don't like. See, this is gonna block me out. You're gonna cog block me, motherfucker. Oh, quick turn. I'm surprised it doesn't kill you. Job to Is that it? I think that's it. Well guys, that was it for uh Garden of Bam Bam 2. We're gonna be playing Garden of Bam Bam 3 really soon. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe button. This one was much better than the first one. 